how could patients discuss this, discuss this option of using repurposed medications with their oncologist? Are you seeing that um, doctors are willing to, you know, implement these? Or, I mean, do you feel like they'll be confident enough to do so? It's it's a hundred percent, you know, doctor to doctor basis. I, I've seen, on, you know, I've, I've witnessed this personally to where I've presented repurposed drugs in a room with a lot of oncologists. Um, where one attacks the concept and the one that, you know, the one in the corner says, I use drugs to prevent recurrence. So it's all over the map. It is completely legal for them to do repurposing um, because it's the FDA, the way that the the regulation is written is it just has to have scientific validity. Um, They are going out a little bit on the limb because it doesn't have FDA approval, you know, liability wise. But so I've seen everything. I've seen doctors completely almost get angry when you bring it up um, or heard of them doing that. And I've I've seen, you know, the oncologists that are prescribing repurposed drugs, too. So it it, it, yeah, it's completely on an individual basis. And I I don't know the right way to do it. I, I think. Somebody that's got the expertise, like um, Chuck, Dr. Meekin, who's been doing this for a long time, I, I, I like to consider them your metabolic adjunctive oncologist, and then you can, you know, merge that with whatever traditional therapies you're doing, and and they will look at their traditional therapies and make sure that what you're doing adjunctively with repurposing drugs is safe, right? So you get that layer of of safety when you have those sort of two camps, those two teams. <laughs> 